Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. If you try to see in our videos, so we have cali we have we have spied on this update result, so that it has been called or not, it has called with argument or how many times it has been called. These are all the things we have seen. So one step of testing is completed. Now if you go to this main.js and this is the calculate method we are trying to do the testing, and up to here it is completed, right? So we have validated the operations. So we have validated the expression and uh, first number, second number, and also the operation. Also, we have tested. So now let's go to the second line. So here, if you try to see, so this is the thing what we need to do. So here we are creating the instance of a calculator, and this instance of the calculator is trying to do the operation. Something like it is calling the methods add, subtract, multiply, divide, and all those things it is calling. So now if you try to see. So this calculator variable we need to spy on this one. So now by spying on this calculator instance, we can see that how many times this add is called, subtract, multiply, whether it has been called or not, we need to do it. But here one problem is there. Why? Because previously when we are trying to spy on this update result, so it is a global method, so it present in the window object. So for that reason we have directly tested it. But here if you try to see, where is this one? So if you try to see this variable. So this is an instance. So this variable, pres it will be present inside this function only. So it is an so in this scope only it will present. So that is the main thing. So in this functional scope only this variable is will be present. So we cannot access this variable. We cannot spy on this variable outside the outside this function. That is the main problem. So now if you go here, if you come down, so here we are using calculator dot add function. So let's try to see it. So let's try to spy on this one. And we'll see that whether we can spy on this calculator variable or not. Let's try to see it. So here we are having this main dot spec dot js. So this is the calls of add. So now here we need to check that addition. So whether addition is doing or not. So now here let's try to write the function of body. Okay. So here I am writing the function of body. So here if I try to write the function of body in this function. So here we are having the function. And in this function, it calls the add function. I need to spy on, okay, spy on. What I need to spy on? I need to spy on the calculator. So the variable what we are seeing, that's ca calculator. So here I need to spy on this variable, and here in this one, so I need to inspect the add method. So in this calculator instance, I need to inspect the add method. Now let's try to see calculate of. So we need to do three plus two or something like that. Okay. So now if you try now we here we need to do the to do. So we need to write the expectations, right? So we need to write the expectations here. So let's try to execute this one. So if I go into here and if I try to refresh it, so here we are able to say that calculator is not defined. So why its calculator is not defined is as I already told you that this variable is scope is intended into this function only. So we cannot access this variable outside that one so that we cannot spy on this variable. So how can we do this one? So how can we do? So for example, if you try to see, if I go to the inspect element, I will show you. So we need to spy on this add method, right? So that means nothing but the calculator. Okay. So this calculator, we can access it outside. This calculator. Now, if I want to access the add method, means I can do calculator dot prototype. So, if I try to see this prototype, okay, and here we are having the addition, subtraction, divide, multiplication, and all those things. Now, so that means the in this calculator dot prototype, so these are all the methods are existing. So we can spy on this calculator dot prototype and this add method, so that we are able to access this one. Let's try to implement that one. So here, what we need to do in the spec. So here we need to call calculator dot prototype. Okay, prototype, prototype, and we need to access the add function. Let's try to see the output. So if I try to see the output, so now the pro calculator dot prototype it is able to access it. So now, what I need to do? So we need to. See that how many times it has been called. So if you try to see in the main dot js, so first time the add method is called first time. So to enter in order to add this first variable. So now after adding this first number, then in the switch case, so by taking the operation into consideration, it is going to this add thing and it is calling another another time the add. 
So total times it is calling is two times. So first we will see in the inner spec cases. So let's remove these expectations. Expect now calculator sorry calculator dot prototype dot add. So this method let's try. here we are calling the calculator dot prototype prototype dot add method. How many so to have been called? So whether it has been called or not? Let's try to see to have been called. So now if you try to see the output, let's try to see the output. So now it has been successfully passed. So that means the calculator dot prototype dot add has been added in this call set. Now we know that it is being by seeing the logic, we know that it is calling two times calculator dot add and the calculator dot add. It is calling two times. Now let's try to see. So here if I paste it here to have been called times of so let's write three write three or otherwise one so we we assume that it is writing or it is calling only one time but we know that it is calling two times if you execute here so expected spy to have been called once but it was actually called two times so we are able to see the error now we we are sure that it is calling two times so as the logic so now we have successfully checked it and another one what we can do is so have to have called with to have been called with so with which argument it has been called with so we have two arguments so 3 plus 2 so that means first time it will call with 3 and the second time it will call with 2 so 2 with two numbers it will call it if you go to the main.js so it will be called with 3 and also next time it will be called with 2 so now there is no matter what will be the order so which have, in which order you want you can write it it's not a problem order is not the thing so at least it is it need to call with Two and at least it need to call with three. So if I try to see it, see the test also has been passed. If you want means, for example, if I try to do with four, but we are calling with three plus two, but I am trying, I am checking that it has been called with four or not. If I try to see, see expected spy to have been called with four, but actual calls are made with three and two. Why well, it is correct? So now what I can do here? So I can change it this one. So now we have. Ultimately, we have checked that calculator prototype add has been called or not in this calculate method that it has been called or not how many times it has been called and what are the variables and what are the parameters that has been called with. So we have checked all the scenarios. Now tomorrow if somebody changed this one to subtract. Okay, so somebody oh sorry what happened here if somebody changed this one to subtract or something like this now I have changed it to some some somebody changed the logic now immediately what will happen is. The test case will fail. So, so expected spy to have been called two times, but it was called only one time. So immediately our test case, what we have written has been failed. Why? Because the calic in this calculator dot add it has to call two times. But here the logic is in a such a way it has written that it is calling only one time only. So that means the logic is wrong. So you can check the logic. Okay. So this is how we will be writing the test case. Hope you understood about this cal calling this prototypes function, spying on this prototype function. And also what I can do, what we can do is so here we are writing calculator dot prototype dot add right. So we can also do another scenario. So we can create a variable something like spy and I can copy this spy and I can write it directly here. Okay. So this is also this is also one method what we can do it. So here I am trying to paste it spy spy and also the spy. So now let's try to see the output. If I try to see the output. so still it is working that is not a problem so this what what i can say is this type of calling will be more explicit so that we can be able to know but here it is not that much of explicit but we can also assign that one to a variable and we can use that variable here so this is also we can do it in either way we can do it hope you understood about this one if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you